از زندگی آزادی می جنگیم تا پای مرگ His lyrics are perceived as a threat by the Iranian regime. Rapper Tumash Salehi has millions of fans in and outside Iran, but a court in Isfahan has sentenced him to death for corruption on earth. The 32-year-old uses his songs to speak out against the establishment. Yeah, there's a rapper that uh, is being sentenced to death to Maj Salehi, and uh, this is in Iran because he was protesting a lot of different things in the government, and uh, his, you know, following is in the millions, and it's probably growing, growing larger now. I really, I'm going to say that I disagree with Iran on sentencing this man to death because of his views, and now uh, it almost makes me feel like whatever comes to them now when it comes to dealing with them on an international level is is uh is condoned you know it, it's it's it, but by sentencing a person who is expressing himself for what he believes in it's it's a damn shame you know i mean what kind of life is that to live where you can't express yourself on a certain level you know i mean this is just ridiculous man so yeah there's there's some things that definitely need to be changed and this is one of them Let's uh, let's take a look at this and, and and see what you know who this guy is. From the start of the protest movement after the death of Masa Amini, Salehi has supported the demonstrations. Arrested and jailed in 2022, he dared to speak out on the conditions of his detention after his release. I was tortured for a long time during my detention. They would hit my hands, my feet. When I tried to protect myself with my hands, they'd break my fingers. It's that testimony that could now cost him his life. One of his lawyers, based in France, says the death sentence is a sign of the regime's fragility. The Iranian justice system is doing everything in its power to convict opponents, so it's really a political justice system. But when it comes to too much, it's really taking extraordinary proportions because sentencing someone to death for a few words is something that could be described as barbaric. 853 Iranians were executed last year, the highest number since 2015. Today, the protest movement lives on, but more discreetly. Women continue to remove their headscarves in organized gatherings, a non-violent way of resisting oppression. La contestation est moins spectaculaire. The protest movement may be less spectacular, but it's just as courageous and dangerous, and it's spread across all layers and generations of Iranian society. Salehi can still appeal against the issuing of his death sentence, but in the meantime, his fans are calling for international mobilization to save him. Oh man, I don't even know what to say. I just watched this and you guys just watch it together with me. Look, uh, just imagine here in the United States, um, even though, you know, Kanye is a rapper, right? Let, let, let's say, let's use Kanye as an example. He's saying things, he just got demonetized basically, and you know, kind of put under the, uh, you know, the, the, um, put on the spot, and, and, and uh, you know, the media pretty much, you know, did him in, right? But he's still alive, he still has a chance to do what he wants and to live and to go about business, you know? And uh, I have to say, that's a bit better. It's still not perfect, but it's quite a bit better than losing your life. In a sense, you know, when you do lose the ability to make money, you are losing your life. It's another way of killing you because it's like putting sanctions on a country. So America isn't as that much better than what, than him being sentenced to death because it's either they starve you out slowly or they just shoot you in the head and kill you. So either way, it's not that great. But what I'm going to say is that if we live in the greatest country on the planet, right, supposedly, and we should have the ability to express ourselves freely that first amendment was there for some reason or another when you think about it the right to free speech right uh right now the rate of censorship by the people who should be censored those are the ones who should be censored are the ones that are doing the censoring the country is so backwards in, in uh, here in the United States and also in Iran. But I'll have to say that, that uh, them taking it this far as to wanting or going to kill this man, take his life from him, 
for voicing his opinion in a very non-violent manner. I, I have to say I'm very much against it. Um, you know, the difference between Iran and America is that Iran puts it out in the public and they, they, they display it for the world to see. When America does things, they don't display it for the world to see, but they do do a lot of bad things as well. And uh, I can tell you from personal experience, I've been censored quite a bit here in this country and I was born here in this country all because of uh, when I was younger, you know, that was during 9-11, I had been arrested for the things that I had said during the moment when a few white cops had... Uh, pretty much, you know, uh, taking advantage of me in, in a situation. And, you know, I think it's because the way I looked. That's 100% what I believe because they accuse me of being Muslim when my family comes from a Hindu tradition and a Hindu uh, uh, culture. And my name stands for that as well. And uh, it doesn't make any sense when they put everything against me and they did it for 20 years. It wasn't just for one year, two years. It was two decades of this. I'm still putting up with stuff today that they've done and they continue to do so it's just as bad whatever that this man's gone through it's you know sometimes i feel it's better it's better to have not suffered so much because at the end of it you know my life is almost you know i'm 54 i've had my neck broken my arm broken my leg broken i I've, i know that i've been poisoned in different ways and probably had more stuff done to me there's definitely psychological warfare that was done to me but i'm gonna say yes i condemn what happened in iran but i condemn what they've done to me and other people here in this country as well America is no angel and never has been um, I'm not going to side with anyone I'm going to say that the side that I do go on is the side of justice for all for every single person every single human being alive we should all have equality and justice and freedom I don't want to stand for this you know I'm American and all this other shit because it doesn't mean a fucking thing in the end when it comes down to it we're all human beings we all were given life by God not America America did not give me my fucking life America did not give you your life but God is the only one that gave us our lives and if we could give it up to God and follow God's rules, this world would be a lot better. But we have people running countries that are extremely evil. That's the biggest problem we have today. And they're going to continue to do this until the people start getting woke, as they say. Not about transgenderism and all that other bullshit, but about what really matters, about life itself and the equality that we have, that we all should have, and the freedoms that we should have. I'm always going to stand for the freedom for everyone, always. I'm never going to take a side on that because freedom is universal. It's been given by God. You know, if they can uh, manipulate the laws of physics in some way and, and, and prove to me that God didn't do this, yeah, then I might start to believe. But there has not been one physicist or scientist that can do that. As a matter of fact, majority of the theories out there today leads back to something, something intelligent, something beyond uh, mortal, something infinite. And whatever that is, whatever that idea is it sounds more and more like god to me each and every day that goes by but guys you know i pray for this man's family and everybody else who's suffering in this way that uh one day we'll wake up to a world or maybe in the future the world will be better for the next generation that they will be able to express themselves in a peaceful manner and that people will be more forgiving and more compassionate you know i'm always going to bring you things that matter I, I, I may do some things that are funny and some things that are not but when a person's life is on the line it's kind of hard for me to make jokes out of that because i know i wouldn't want anybody joking about me if i was in that situation either so let's pray that we find a more compassionate future all right guys have a great one see you in the next video please hit that like and subscribe button i keep telling you that they're censoring the shit out of my videos i'm going to show you pictures of how my my um views have flatlined since i did uh my videos were taking off with boston yusef which they're going to say that i sided with him which i didn't i sided with his ideas i don't know everything about the man but his ideas were extremely pro Prolific. And anybody that's prolific and sides with humanity, I'm always going to side with them. You know, and he sides with God as well. All right, guys. See you in the next video.